Hello everybody, quick update. I'm going to do this one again, like in the last video. But instead of having these two coils, the trigger coil and the driving coil on the same core, I ha now have them on, uh, on different cores so I can position the trigger coil as I please. Um, this means that um, the, the transistors will not shut off as abrupt as when uh, the coils are on the same core, which means that uh, this capacitor will not get charged when the motor is going slowly. Uh, not until the motor is up to speed and uh, this transistor is shutting off quickly uh, the energy from the coil will uh, go into this capacitor and, and then be able to uh, shoot back when uh, this transistor tr gets triggered. So let's start. I'm not using uh, <coughs> this coil in this setup. I'm using a coil here. This is the motor coil, the driver coil, and the um, inductance is uh, a lot lower than uh, on the coil, uh, that of the coil that I used the last time. Um, so uh, the result is that the wheel is going much, the rotor is going much quicker. So I have the driving coil and the trigger coil here, and uh, I'll position it here when I start. See if I can get it up and running. This is the amp draw or rather the milliamp draw and uh, this is the voltage on the on, on this capacitor and as you will see uh, it will it will not gain much voltage until this is up to speed and then the voltage will climb rather high uh, the driving uh, uh, the voltage source is uh, tw 20 volts as in the previous uh, video so let's see if we can get it running no. try to trim this one no let's start again to get it started. Come on. Okay, it's accelerating. I got it. As you can see, the voltage here is not even one uh, volt, and the draw is quite high. Ah, now we're getting up speed. The second capacitor is gaining voltage because of the faster switching, and now I will move the trigger coil to get earlier trigger that's it okay like that and as you can see the amp draw is less than when we started which is not what you have in, uh, in usually have when the trigger coil is on the same core as the driving coil. Let's see, now we're up to uh, 17 volts on the second uh, 
capacitor, which means we have uh, rapid switching. Okay. I think this is as quick it can go. If I move the trigger trigger coil further, it will start to br break instead. And if I move it away, uh, this one will drop like this. But it's going quicker. So it, there's a trade-off. Now we're quite near. Oops, it was too near, I think. Well, you get the picture. And now I'm moving back again. Like this. It's going slower. And now I'm advancing again. Let's see if we see how quick it goes. It's uh, 4000 RPM. Yeah, 4000 more or less. So Thank you for watching.